What's going on guys, your boy Rock Lee. Uh, I actually waited a while before I posted this. I initially would have posted it right away, but I had two things. One, is to talk about a topic while people are interested in the topic, yes. B, not to push an agenda in the wake of someone's passing. So, enough time has passed, I think we could talk about it because it's, it's a conversation that has already happened, is happening, and we'll come to a conclusion at some point, and it's should we recast for Black Panther? I know the talks are using Shuri, uh, which is accurate with the comics, to be his replacement. And here's the thing, here's the thing. I think the sister is a likable character. Let's, let's talk about the actor. She's a likable actress. Phenomenal. But unless she makes a 180, in my opinion, they didn't, they didn't really uh, cast her with the intention that she was gonna be Black Panther. I don't know her personality so much in the comics, but she's not matching a Black Panther to me. The warrior with no hair is always back in T'Challa whenever they're going about places. If anything, she is a better cast for what I can see as Black Panther, Stealthy Warrior, etc., etc. That's my opinion. But anyways, I think they should strongly recast. And I say this with a grain of salt. And it's really coming down to one reason. Actually, there's two reasons. The first reason is we recast normally. We've had three Spider-Mans, multiple Supermans, multiple Batmans. My God, uh, this is a these are comic book characters that we want to come to life. We've grown up watching, or they or they, they just emerged in the last two years because some characters are new. But we've grown up watching these characters in comics and animation and we want to see them on big screen or in real life. So, with all due respect, you can't put those characters back in the box and deprive the rest of the population of that real life adaption that they want or have been craving. It's, it's more than that. And I say that with all due respect. The other thing is, I strongly think, strongly think, that Black Panther is actually a necessary hero with a lot of minority kids. And I know that's it can be silly sometimes, like Black Panther is a hero. Most of you, if you found me on this video, are probably coming from one of my anime related pages. Most of you. So I assume, talking to this demographic, that we can understand heroes coming from fictitious stories. But back to the minority community, there's not like any black heroes, I'm just saying it frank, that I can speak of that are popular. Falcon? He's a good actor, but I never met a kid that was like, yo, Falcon. I have never met one kid that's done it. I barely knew a Falcon. Uh, I knew he was an Avenger. Uh, uh, but just like in a picture, like, oh, who's that? I think I saw him like one time in, a, in one of the animated cartoons, and that was it. So, he's not a likable guy. Why is he not likable? He's competing with War Machine. We could talk about War Machine. He's competing with the War Machine, Tony. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 I am talking about the right thing. He's competing with the War Machine, he's competing with Tony, he's competing with the Vision. I'm talking about the aerial people. They got people in armor, shooting guns, etc. and it's just not, it's not flashy enough. We could talk about War Machine, but war, unless they revamp War Machine and heal him, which is probably the way to do it, uh, that might be the next best, unless reinvesting in a new character, of course, that's the next best like revamp for an, a black hero for minority kids. But he's always going to shine pale right next to Iron Man. Maybe, maybe with Iron Man gone, is it Don? I'm not even gonna play with the name, but that's a very good actor that's likable with a likable personality. So, back to Black Panther. Black Panther is important because, like, like I said, a lot of minority kids don't have a minority hero. And here's the thing T'Challa, even T'Challa is not a replaceable character for many reasons. Not only, is when he, not only is he one of the few respected characters that can go toe to toe with Captain America not only go toe to toe with Captain America, but beat. I had to rephrase that portion because to my memory, it wasn't T'Challa who beat Captain America, it was his father. But anyways, yeah, the mantle of Black Panther, which 
saying more, there's Black Panther and there's T'Challa, and there's a lot that can be said about that. But again, not many characters can beat slash go toe to toe with Captain America. Look how wealthy he is. He is the king of a kingdom. He is prestigious. There's not a blemish on his name. He is good. He wanted to make peace with communities outside of Wakanda. That is a ideal role model and we can't put that character in a box. So we need the mantle to go on. I am open-minded to somehow CGI'ing T'Challa out, but I don't think they're gonna be able to pull that and give us a satisfying story or a fulfilling story or a story that's not BS. So I do think we should recast. He is necessary, pay our respects, and I firmly believe that's what Chad would want. And here's to the next Black Panther actor. As long as Marvel does within reason to cast somebody good, we cannot tear down whoever this actor is and say, oh, they're never as good as Chad. Chad, yeah. Chad yo, Chad, as far as I'm concerned, is and forever will be Black Panther. Is and forever will be Black Panther. We, yo, I've seen Two, well, only yeah, can, to be fair, there's been only a second adaption, but most of us are only looking at Heath Ledger as Joker. If you're alive today, Heath Ledger is no. If you're a millennial, <laughs> Heath Ledger is Joker today. I think everyone has respected that what he's done with the Joker for his time is the best performance that we've seen. But that could be argued. But that's not what we're here for. So we got to do it. It's gonna be tough. There's gonna be emotions. We're gonna be like, this guy isn't the same. Because here's the thing, back to the way Chad did it, like there's so much ways this could have been done and it would have been well. We could have had a Wesley Snipes version of T'Challa. Like, I don't gotta listen to you guys. I'm just gonna kick butt, you know? Like, but we gotta humble, relax, lay back. Like, I don't gotta argue with you guys. I should beat somebody up. It's hard to pull that off and be likable, you know? Um, I shouldn't say and be likable, but it's hard to pull that off. Not every actor can fit into that style. So if you're trying to recast specifically for Chad as Black Panther, that adds more layers to the difficulty. Last but not least, I do think with Falcon moving over to Captain America with that bland personality, there is some hope to putting uh, a brother as a respectable leader or a hero to the minority kids. So that's that. That's my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know. I do interact with people, comment, share this video. Let's see what the community thinks now that some time has passed and maybe it's appropriate for everyone to talk about it. Out. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Also check out yourboyrockley.com for merch.